Hello, hi, welcome to another Adalo tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build a hotel booking platform with Adalo. This works if you're someone who wants to build a merchant platform for users to find hotels in their neighborhood, in their cities, and for hotels to find a place to um, get, you know, gain more spotlight for their business. Um, so the way this app works is you're the owner of the, you're the owner of the application. And then hotels come, they register their account, and then they can list their hotels and the rooms in there. Then users come around, browse hotels, and they can find all the rooms that belongs to the hotels, and they can book. So we have the database set up, which we're going to be starting first. But before then, if you're just, um, if you're, if you're on my channel for the very first time and you've not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to this channel so you can always get new notification whenever I launch a video. Whenever I shoot a video, whenever I post a video, you will be the first to know. And also, don't forget, I if you're if you're looking for someone who will fix your Adalo application, someone who will work with you to build your MVP using Adalo, um, feel free to reach out to me. My email is down there, and you can also reach out to me on Twitter, and I will definitely do well to discuss your mobile application. Once again, thank you for joining me. Let's get started with building our hotel booking app with Adalo. So getting started as usual, you click on the create new app on the dialog. And if you want this to be a desktop app, you click, cl click on create desktop web app. But now we want this to be a native mobile application. So we just click this. You can go ahead and pick any color of your choice, whichever you want. It's okay. But we're just going to call this hotel booking app. Hotel booking application. Go ahead and pick whatever color suits your brand. And if you are, if you want to copy from an existing database, feel free to click on create new database. Uh, I think Adalo is going to be launching a feature pretty soon, uh, using a standard users and authentication. Probably that's where you'll be able to build with, with a tool like backend list right from scratch. So you click on create. And as usual, you're welcome with two screens, the sign up, the login screen, and the home screen. Of course, this is the, these are the screens that Adalo gives you right from the start. And we've already created our database schema here. On this application, you can see we have user, we have hotels, we have rooms, we have, um, countries. So these are the, these are the data that we're going to be creating on our application. Let's start with user. User will have a username, a profile image, a location, a phone number, a role, a hotel, and a, yeah, a role and a role list of hotel, you know, stuff like that. That's what the user is going to have. So let's go ahead and click on our database, edit this collection, and add a new one and say image. For the image, we're going to call this profile image. That's what we call this profile image. Call this a profile image, and that's the only thing you want to do right there because that's the only feed you have. Okay, we have phone number also. Phone number. This is going to be a test. Just call it phone number. Phone number. Say safe. And the next thing we want to do is so we can create a relationship between the user's location. Because we need the user to be able to select the location that we have. We don't want to be we don't want to display hotels without location on Adalo. We want to be able to say, hey, these are the hotels that we have. We have hotels in this location and we want you to select from the hotels that we have. If you're not in this location, then we're not going to respond to you. But if you do, if you are in this location, that's where you can book a hotel in our platform. So we'll create a new category and call it locations. Just create a category and call it locations. Uh, locations will have name. That's the only thing that's going to have name. That's all. Then we'll go back to our users, create relationships. So if you, if you, if you don't know how to create relationship on Adalo, I have a video on my channel, how to create database relationship in Adalo. Go back there and watch it and you'll be able to create awesome relationship between your database in Adalo. So we'll come back here and say we want to create a relationship with location. So a location can have multiple user. A user belongs to one location. So a person can only be in a place, one place at the same time. One place at the same time. So it's going to be 
like this. But if you are creating a user and you think that a user can have multiple locations and a location can have multiple users, it's fine. But here we're saying a user belongs to one location, a location can have multiple users. So a location can have multiple hotels, but a hotel will belong to one particular location. So that's what you want to do. Click on done. And we'll call this user location. So it's very good to follow good naming convention when you're building with Adalo. So now we're good. We're done with that. Let's go ahead and create. Let's go ahead and create the next database, which is a hotel. Hotel. We have a name, have a location, a city, profile image, description, and room count. So we will create another category. Call it a hotel. Say add, add the property, and say okay. We have the name of a hotel already. Add the property and just call it description. Save. Add a new property and call it. This is going to be relationship. Call it relationship with location. So a location can have multiple hotels. A hotel belong to one location. So that's what you want to do. So click here and say done. Then you call this hotel location. That's fine. Say so save. Then we'll go ahead and say the next want to say image. So you want to do this and say hotel image. So this could be the front facing part of the hotel. It's fine. What are we doing next? So we have um, city. So the city, we want the city to be a relationship. We don't want users to create a new city, but we just want them to say, hey, um, we, we want, we want to say, we want to cover this particular location. So your, if any location that your app covers, those are the only locations people can list their hotels from. No other location at all. So we're going to create a location, a, a collection called city. Yeah. And say, ah, that's the only thing we'll do. Then we'll come back to our hotel. Say, add. We'll say, add. Okay, I think we don't have to create another location called city. We already have a hotel location already. Um, so it's fine. This is going to be, location is going to be the name of our city. That's fine. We don't, we don't need to create another, another collection called city. So I'll go ahead and delete this. Say okay. Uh, now we need to create a database called room. We need to create a database called room. So we'll say room. Room, say add. I'm going to say the name of the room. So, you know, people, some hotels have like presidential suite, you know, stuff like that. So, that's what we do. Room. Uh, we say description of the room. Description of the room. Uh, we'll add the price of the room. Price of the room. So this is supposed to be a number. Let's see what else we have. Um, okay. Let's cancel this. This is going to be a number. It's going to be the price. The reason why we're making this a number is so we can run calculation on it. So we have price. Then we have relationship with the hotel. So a hotel can have multiple rooms. A room belongs to one hotel. That's what you want to choose. A many, a one to many relationship. So that's it. We have a name, we have a description, we have a price, we have a hotel. Then we're going to have the image, the room image. So there's going to be a lot of pictures in this application, lots of pictures in this application. Um, then we have, um, is, if this hotel, if this room is booked, then we don't want to show it. We only want to show hotels that have not been booked. So that's going to be a Boolean. A Boolean is just a yes or no. That's it. That's what it is true or false uh so booked the default is no that the room is not booked so we have a save so we have um then we have all this that's that's the only thing we need to have then let's come back to hotel add property add property and say number then call it room count 
So what you want to do is when a hotel room count is zero, this might be an additional feature for you. When a hotel room count is zero, you don't want to display that hotel. You want to say the hotel is fully booked when the hotel room count is zero. But when the hotel room count itself is more than zero, then you want to display you want to display it. That's the reason why we have the room count. And also you might want to run you know, you might want to rank a hotel based on your room count. It really depends on what you want to do. Then four additional features, you can add collections like reviews, hotel reviews. You can add collections like um, messages. We're not going to cover this in this application. Uh, you can have, you can have, you can add collections like conversation. Conversations. So the reason why you're adding all this is that reviews, you want people to be able to rate a hotel, to be able to leave reviews for a particular hotel. Then for messages, you want people to be able to, you want hotels and individuals to send messages to each other if, they, if you want, if, you, if that's a feature that makes sense for you. And other things that you might want to add, you might want to add rating. So rating for rooms and rating for a hotel. That's, some, that's an additional feature that you want to add. So let's just go ahead and add demo data to this. Um, I'm going to pause the video and quickly add demo data to our users, our locations, our hotel, our rooms. Those are, that's what I'm going to do. So um, you go ahead and pause the video yourself also and add demo data to it. So now that you're done with imputing your, your entry data, let's go ahead and build a home screen. Like if you go back to the dock, uh, you're going to find this dock. At the bottom of this um, um, video description you find it there so feel free to check out the video description and you find it there and if you're not subscribed click on the subscription button and you'll be able to find new videos when i when i launch them so we have um, register new account that allows has done that for us create new create a login feed that allows has done that for us then we have um, edit a user profile so we're going to get started with building the home screen. If we go back to our sheet, so you can see that we have the user profile, um, user profile page. We have the create login feed and register account. Um, let's go back to our sign up. So this is going to be our sign up. And we want to add a couple of feed more to this. I want to add more feeds to it. So we click on, we'll click on our form. And you remember we added some we added some additional feed. We want to add the profile image. We want to add the phone number. Uh, okay, we want to add the phone number and the profile image. But I think this is not very important. So what we can do is that we can add the user location. The user location, they will just select the location. That's fine. Um, then we will add. Um, so this will be select your location. Select your city, select your city. So we'll go for select your city. Uh, we'll say done, we'll add some feed and we'll say phone number. So these are pretty important and that's what we're gonna collect. Then we will, then let's just, let's take it this way. Click on the screen itself and extend it a little bit. Extend it a little bit so that we can have all the form feed display at the same time on the screen so once we've collected those details we have another feed in here that says already have an account login so we'll go back to our form click on the company so we have this we have this test then we have another one inside this is a button we have this button so just click it this bring this down this is what you want to do bring it down and bring this here so just give it a very smooth look and feel and let's drag this down a little bit we drag this down a little bit and that's what we want to do there then this links to our login feed that Adalo has done that for us already for the home page we're going to take out this bar take take this bar away and let's just look for app let's just look for let's click this so we'll take this there no, we don't want this. Um, let's just keep on nav. Click on nav. 
So we want something very, 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 very easy. That's what we want. So let's just go look for navigation. So we have the bottom bar here. So we want to have a user. We want to have a profile screen, just a few screens, and that's all we want. So for the first screen is the home. The second screen is the search. We want the second, the third tab to be the search instead, not there. Because what people come here to do primarily, they come here to search for they come here to search for um search for apartment that's what they come here to do for the for the for the second we're going to take it away so we'll just let it go for the second the third will let it go the third is going to be the profile which is all right then the more uh, this will lead to settings so this will look to lead to like the settings page and the rest we're not going to be we're not going to bother ourselves about that but let's go ahead and customize the home page. Let's add a form because we want users to search for hotels. Uh, input feed, so not a form. Let's add an input. So we're gonna put it here at the extreme end like this. this is where we're gonna put it. So this is gonna be a form like so. Then we'll put an icon. So you can put an icon here. This icon would just, is, this is for user experience. They just tell the user, hey, you can search right here. That's that's what you want to do. So you want to just put the icon here. So users will understand that they can search right here. So now that we have this, we can go ahead and put a edit style and just put some level of rounding right there. Put some level of rounding right there. I think this is too round. Uh, let's take it down to five. I think that's fine. Take it down to five, and then we can have the height as forty-five. It's okay. Uh, for this, we can have this as thirty. We can have this as thirty, and we can edit style. We edit our style, and we can add some shadow. So we, we've added some level of rounding to it. Then um, let's go ahead and display the list of hotels. You can build your own custom list or you can use the list that Adalu presents to you. Um, we're going to build we're going to build our own custom list. That's what we'll do right here. So we will put the horizontal type here. We want to have the heading as this as um popular hotels. So you want to make this popular hotels if you want to. Uh, you know, sometimes you might want you want to have something like trending hotels, popular hotels on your platform. That's what you want to do. Uh, so you put a test here, and you can call the you can call this most popular. So you can call this most popular, which is fine. Then you can uh, we can make it pretty bold, and take it to eighteen. So these are popular hotels. Uh, then we can have another here. You can duplicate it and just put it here. You can put it here and just call this trending hotels. So this is basically for UI experience, trending hotels. So we can call this trending trending hotels. So we have popular, we have trending. You can use this trick for almost any type of app, especially one that requires users to see, to view stuff on the home screen. So then we can go down. Don't worry how you stretch it, it's still gonna be fine. And that will handle this perfectly. So we have this hotel. So this time we're gonna put a list. We're just gonna put a list of hotels, vertical list, that's what we're gonna put. So this is a card. We'll put a card here. That's what we're going to put here. Uh, this is a card. Card of hotels. And yeah, that's what we'll put. For all that, we'll say bring to back, which is all right. So this is just our trending hotels and we have our popular hotels, but they are all hotels. You can determine how you set it. You know, as the admin of the platform, you can determine how you set it. You can say any hotel with a rating above five should be on top here and any hotel with a rating 
between five and, and ten should be below head and the other hotels users can search the other hotels with or without rating so for this we're going to click this and say this is going to be a list of hotels this is going to be a list of hotels and it's going to be all hotels yeah which is fine all hotels but you can add a custom feature so this is where the this is where the the feature comes in but for the sake of this tutorial we're just going to call it all hotel which is fine another thing that i think you can look at when you're designing this is to you know let's just drag this down drag this down a lot drag this down move it down a bit move this down Down in here, we want to say we want to add a chipset. So we want to add a chipset. So this is going to be like country. So what you can do is that you can browse hotel right here by cities. So if you have lots of cities right here, you can ask the user to browse the hotels by cities. So that's something that you can do right here. So that when the user click on the city. On the city here, they can actually you can populate it, populate the screen with all the hotels from that particular city. Uh, that this is very important. It's just good for user experience, so you can help your users navigate away from your navigate navigate your applications, do what they want to do, and you know just go mind their business. I think so. So we'll take it further. Make a group, which is fine. Then I'll take this. He's going to take this below. So we're good. Um, this is our hotels already. So we have hotels right here. Now let's go ahead and fill the cards. So for our image options, image is square, which is okay. For our image overlay, uh bottom overlay is fine gradient is fine test is hotel name subtitle is going to be the hotel location subtitle is the hotel location name um uh, yeah we're good so for the image for the for the image that we have here let's change it let's go ahead and change the image um Yeah, current image is the current hotel image, which is fine. And if there's no image, we can find a placeholder, but it's fine. So that's okay. That's what we want to do here. For this, same thing for this. We're doing the same thing for this list. We want to call this um we want to call this rooms. So we can call this uh we can call this room, so you can call this hotel, it's fine. But I'm just gonna call this hotel too, and you can fit out based on anything, just like we said before. Um, for the column, we'll say two. Mansari is fine. Then we're going to say title is the hotel name. Subtitle is the name of the the name of the hotel location, which is okay. For for the for the for the body, we're going to say the number of rooms that's available. For the body, we have title. We have room count. So we have three rooms available. So three rooms available, which is all right. Then we can just refix this and call it 12, um, medium, medium, yeah. So that's fine. You can use whatever color you want to use and that's okay. Let's go ahead and preview our application. So we just say preview. So we preview the application and so we register email or or select your city uh, Manchester phone number I'm gonna take this and click on sign up so remember you can do two art so that's some of the additional features we added you can do two 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 authentication if you want to so you can see we have all the we have all the trending hotels see them here and it's looking very great we have the trending hotels and then we have all the other hotels just like so 
so it's coming out well next we need to fix the search bar the search bar is not working yet so the search bar is able to search the hotel that's on this sheet that's what we want it's on the screen so probably we have lots of hotels available so you can see here we have zero rooms available one room available two room available one room available so let's go ahead and fix this search so we'll say click on this and we would say feature by add custom feature feature by feature the hotel name when the hotel name contains when the hotel name contains other component input this this test then it will it will refeature it the same thing here you can feature this too if you want to you can feature everything at the same time you can feature it so we can say click on the card component then we'll go ahead and add feature go and say feature the name where the hotel name contains whatever is in this trending input then we'll find so let's go ahead and check it out again so here let's go ahead and feature let's just type lagos so we can see we have all the we have the hotels for lagos let's go ahead and type chester so you can see we have the hotel for chester that's what we want to do and that's how we, we do it so let's go ahead and click on this what action do we want to give on we want to give to this this um list here we want to say when they click on the list we want to leave them to the new screen a duty screen want to leave them to the duty screen and um you know the duty screen click on this we're looking for a screen that would um that will provide more information to them so this is this is the screen so let's do this so we have this screen so you can see that it's pushing the current hotel and we want to say no transition and say done it's pushing the current hotel and we want to click the screen and say we want to click the the title we want to click the title call it test and the detail of the title will be current hotel name that's that's all we want to do this would be source will be the current hotel image this will be the this will be the current hotel description yeah so let's push it push it upward a bit then after that we will have a list of rooms so we're going to have a list of rooms in that hotel so we're just going to click it this is going to be a list of rooms in that hotel so put it right here so we're doing a list inside a list that's that's what we're doing a list inside a list so let's go ahead and click on this so we're doing a list inside a list that's what we're doing for the button we we'll take the button away we don't need that right there because they're not booking the hotel immediately instead they're booking rooms inside the hotel that's what they're doing so we have this and also we're going to put the we're going to put the to go to go button the reason why we're doing this is that we want users to be able to like and unlike this um, we want users to be able to like and unlike so we'll just call it love let's just say love i think so okay heart yeah that's the word heart I think the word here is heart, right? I'm gonna look for I'm gonna look for it. Okay, um I'm gonna look for the heart. It should be somewhere around here. I hope I find it. Okay, uh, but now I can't I can't find it, so I'm gonna use something else. But I know it's around here. It's just somewhere around the heart. Yeah, this is it. So we have the heart. So we have here favorite bottle. Okay, that's fine. So it's called favorite. 
so we have the other one here so when is active okay this is supposed to be active so we say favorite active and when is inactive we say favorite without the color so we have the black color is fine you can change it to whatever you want to so this here is going to be a list of rooms and you're going to feature current hotel room that's what you're going to do a current hotel room and you're going to feature by where the book is false so if the book is true it's not going to show because you don't want another user to book the hotel so you only want to book a room that is true that's what you want to do you want to book a room where the booking is false and because you don't want other users to do so so that's what you want to do let's go ahead and preview this just click on the preview so here we click on Chester it takes us here it takes us here and when we click on this it's supposed to show us all the room for chest so there's no room for Chester I think so let's see one room available let's take this away so now this is empty I think we have two rooms here for heating hotels it should show us all the room for heating hotel okay so let's look for heating hotel up here click it should show us all the room for heating hotel it's not showing us the room then there's something wrong oh i think it's showing it's booked so i think i configured all the rooms to be booked so let's go ahead and say we are booking is true let's see we are booking is true I think that should show us all the room now. So I'm going to look for So yeah, so this now is showing us this is showing us this other one. So you can really format your you can format this the way you want to do you, you want it to be. So you can say these are rooms. Then we want users to be able to book these rooms. So let's go ahead and click on this. Let's go ahead and click on this. Uh, it has some shadows. Mm, that's fine. You can take it off if you want to. Um, so I'm going to take away the shadows. And here I want to add a test to it. I'm going to add a test to this. This is a uh, description. I'm going to make it. It's, it's, it's okay if it's um, 16. So I'm gonna duplicate this. Then I'm gonna say I'm gonna say the number of rooms. I'm gonna say click on the plus button, current hotel room. So I'm gonna say click on the plus sign, the screw down, current hotel room count rooms available but let's just say click on a room to book it so we're saying click on a room to book it so we'll take this and make it 14 Take this and make it 14 and make it a bit semi bold, which is all right. So we're telling them to click on the room to book it, which is fine. Then this right here, this right here, we would say, let's just make this force. So where room is equal to force, it's fine. We'll go change that later. And let's say add action, link to a new screen. So we say add action and links to a new screen. That's what we'll do. Uh, but you can put action if you want to. You can put like first button. If you want to see these are buttons so we could say book uh so let's just say so let's just write there and say book room let's just say book room and for the button style for the button style standard font yeah it's fine book room that's fine but you can always change it to whatever you want to change it so you can make it black if you want to uh i'm not we're not talking about color right here so if we unclick, when this button is clicked, we want to move to another screen. Go to a new screen. 
booking screen. So this is a booking screen. We need a form. So we just take this form screen and push it down. So it's connecting. It's connecting. So here, we want users to be able to book this room, but not without giving them a detail, detail of the room. So that's what we want. We want to give them a detail of the room first. So we'll go down, pull an image, put an image right there. Put an image right there and push some test. So here, some another thing that you can do here to make this a whole lot more beautiful, you can create some sort of a table and then you can tell the you can tell people what's available in the room. If it has toilets, if it has ACs, if it has fans, you know, if it has stuff like that. So you could just tell people, uh, this is what this room contains and this is what you're going to benefit if you stay in this room. That's something that you want to do here. Just give people more info they would like. Current hotel description and then we'll go ahead and say and add the price. So let's just add a test, put a test here inside on top of the image. This is going to be where we'll pull the price. <laughs> so this is where we'll pull the price. So we'd say this would be the current room price and double click on it so the the prefix is going to be a dollar sign so this is going to be a currency it's going to be a currency the currency is usd you can choose any currency of your choice it's fine the currency is usd and that's what we're going to call it the currency is usd and we're going to give this a bit of a formatting make it like 20 Make it like 20, and I think that's all we want to do. Auto width is fine. So that's what we want to do right there. And now that we have the description, we'll go ahead and book it. So for the booking, we want to ask the person, how many nights do you want to book it? How many nights do you want to book it? Any other information do you want? Do you, do you, are you going to give us You know stuff like that? That's what we want. So we'll go ahead and create our database. Click on collection, and we'll say booking. So a booking, a booking, we would say the name. Uh, this doesn't matter, but that will just always, always give you the name of everything whenever you're creating a new feed. But we're not going to be using that. So for the booking, we would say number of nights, number of nights, number of days. Okay, that's fine. Or you can call this duration. You can call this duration for this other property you can say who is booking it so which of the user is booking it so that's what you want so a user a user can have multiple booking a booking belong to one user which is fine the owner so you're fine so the owner and we want to know the hotel so which hotel is being booked so which hotel a hotel can have multiple booking a booking belongs to one hotel so which is fine then i also want to know the room that is being booked i uh, want to know the room also that is being booked so a room can have multiple booking a booking belongs to one room no a room a room can only have one booking a booking can have multiple room yeah a booking can have multiple room a room belongs to one booking except maybe you're running a hotel where many persons can book just one room that's when you can use the first one but this one we want to use the one, a many to one relationship so which room is being booked and um so we want to know the, the price so if you know the room then you know the price uh you don't really have to but we can we can just for easy mathematics so we can tell the price the price so i think that's all we have to know we just need to know the hotel we need to know the owner the duration the name the room and the price so the only um the only detail that we're going to be collecting is the duration and let's just put a note so in case we want we want the note we want to add a note to it that's fine 
so let's also add a date so let's add a date also the date the person will be coming date of arrival the date the person will come then we want to say the date the person will leave so you can always extract the date the person would come and the date the person will leave to get the duration but i think it's fine it's fine so we also can also have the date the person will leave so we call this the date of checkout so here date of arrival let's remove time so we can make the calculations right so we'd say date of check-in let's just make this date of check-in so this is looking like a hotel but a, a some sort of a plane app and an, an application for booking plane seats but it's similar it's not it so let's go ahead and make this a booking let's make this a booking create new booking and uh, that'll populate the feed for us already so we'll just go ahead and click here and so now we can tell the person date of check-in date of checkout click on the form again feeds date of check-in date of checkout note is going to be a multiple it's going to be a multi-line feed so a user can type a lot the price we don't need we don't need to ask them the price it's fine duration we're going to see if we can calculate the duration really um then the name is fine so then the, the name of the person we do not we do not need the name of the person so we we'll just delete this so these are the information we need uh for the duration yeah well, let's see if we can calculate the duration already for the notes we need that the dates we need that so the reason why we don't need name email phone number from the person is because we have them already as a user so we really don't we really don't need need those information from from them anymore let's go back to our feed our database feed to simplify things we just put in we just put this and call it phone number of the person yeah save this is just to simplify things we call this email email of the person who just booked so we'll call this location of the person who just booked location of the person who's booking this so we say safe all those information we're going to be filling in ourselves so let's go down to our feed and say add automatic feed we'll call this phone number add automatic feed room add automatic feed uh, email add automatic feed location add automatic feed duration so the duration let's try the duration first and see if we can make calculations with date in Adal. i haven't tried this before uh, i've tried to work on date in Adalo before but Adalo can't split dates so i just really don't use it all the time so let's see so let's do some math this is going to be screwed down let's see if, um, let's try this so we say other components we'll say component uh let's find the component so we'll say form okay okay i think we can do this if we have components on the screen so i'm unable to do this now because we're unable to do this now because uh we're unable to do this so let's see yeah we're unable to do this now but i think we'll try we'll try it again we'll fix the form somewhere some other way and we'll try so i think the easiest way for us to try this would just be would be to put an input component input normal no oh we can we can add an input document here so number email lowercase no so i think it's not possible to do that but let's see again let's go back to our feed so what i'm trying to do i'm trying to extract i'm trying to remove the date the date of check-in and date of arrival to form a duration so i want to try that So I want to try that um, count messages. I want to try that. So I think this is not going to work. 
let's say integer what's the int so this is not going to work i think we'll have to tell the users to put a duration themselves or we could calculate this duration on the back end ourselves but let's just keep going so we have the phone number phone number will be current logged in users phone number that's going to be it for the email it will be logged in users email that's going to be it for the location it's going to be it's going to be current hotel current hotel location name that will be it for the for the um, duration will allow the users to add the duration for the room is going to be current room current room name that's just going to be current room name that's what we want current room so this is the this is supposed to be a current room name so because we we should have the name of the room right here on the screen current room yeah this is supposed to be the current room name but let's see current room still looking for a way to get the current hotel that is being booked so meanwhile we've established that this page the date um, alongside the data passed to this page this booking page is the current hotel so if we scroll down here available data we can see that we have the current room being passed to this page so um, let's go back to our database so we have our room no let's go back to our database for the booking we have our room right here so I think some, what we can do, so I just delete this. What we can do is that we can take away this, just take away this as a room. Then we take away this, and um, yeah, let's try another. Let's try a different type of relationship. So booking with the room. So we can say a room can have multiple booking. A booking belongs to one room. Okay, let's say a room can have multiple booking. A booking belongs to one room. So let's do, let's 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 say it this way. So let's go back to our sheet, our form, read. Let's add a. Let's uh, delete this. Add a room. Let's see what happens. So now we are having the current room, which is perfect. That's what we want. So we have the current room. We have the location. We have the user's email, phone number, current hotel, owner. Owner is the logged in user. So the the owner is the person who's booking the room. Is the logged in user that's that's what we're creating so we have this now next thing we have to do is just tell the user to create booking so when the user create booking what do we want to do we want to create a new booking then link back to a thank you screen that says your, your booking has been created so for the screen we will say new screen just say thank you screen thank you screen and Thank you screen and we will just let's look for a screen an info screen uh let's just say this so for the thank you screen we'll just have a picture we'll have a picture and we'll say you have booked a room successfully so let's give it some some very huge font like 24 26 put it in the middle put it in the middle and here we will have this no heading i will take this like this so this would be a picture this will just be a picture and here we can tell this button can say go back this button can say go back and we'll just go back to the home screen so for the action, we will say link back to the home screen. That's where we're going. And um, for this, let's just add a picture. Let's just add a nice picture to it. So meanwhile, all these pictures can come from your database. So you can tell, you can collect this picture from your database and just add it if you want to. 
Um, so I'm going to look for something beautiful to add here. Uh, no, thank you. But OK, let's just use this. Only JPEG allowed. Mm, maybe I should find a picture of myself. Okay, I think I'll use this one. This file type is this is the PNG file. I don't know why Adalo is refusing it. So this is a PNG file. Okay, I think there's something wrong with Adalo, but it's fine. Uh, we we'll just copy. Just look for a file. Just look for a thank you image online. Thank you image. So I just looked for a thank you image. I'm going to copy the link and put it there so Adalo can render it and display it. So I'll click on this. So then I'll just copy this. I'll copy the image link from Shutterstruck. Copy image link, and I'll go back to our hotel booking app. We would say URL and put it right there. That's the URL I want. And so we have the thank you here. And show full image, don't crop, that's fine. And that's, <clears throat> let's go ahead and preview. We'll preview the application. So here we go, we have the Lagos Hotel, there is no room. So meanwhile, you can always tell, you can tell Adalo to put a notification here when there's no room. So it says, hey, no rooms are available. So it goes, these are California home, there's no room. We'll slide, there's a slide, click on this. Uh, we don't have a room here. Okay, I think there's something we didn't do. Let's go back to our database, click on our rooms, click on our rooms here. So what we want to do, we just want to edit the rooms to make sure that they are not booked yet. That's what we want to do. Edit the room to make sure they're not booked. So what we're going to do is that we'll go to, uh, we'll go to our rooms page. Eh? Jesus. It's just a different, ah, a dialogue. So we open our rooms database so we can switch it from booked to not booked. So we just click on it, just change it to force. That's all you have to do. Click on this, change it to force so we can see all the rooms. Click on this, change it to force so we can see the rooms. And lastly, click on this, change it to force. So once we're done with that, we'll go back here and preview our app all over again. So now that we have set up the, now that we have switched the, the room availability from true to for, from true to false, let's go ahead and preview our application. Click on the preview button. So let's look for the hotel we want to view. So click on Lagos Hilton. There's no hotel here. Let's go back. There's no room. So let's look for another hotel. So we can see this one has a room, so click on this. So we see the, 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 the room itself and we see the price, 200 US dollars. We see the name, so now we can book the date of check-in. We can look for the date of checkout. Date of checkout and we say okay. We can enter a note, this is a nice hotel. Um, probably I am coming with a friend. And I love roses, so this is fine. So I kind of watch a movie one day. Um, I think it's called Hotel Mumbai, where people, guests can actually tell the kind of ambience, the kind of, the, yeah, the kind of ambience they want, the kind of things they love before coming to the hotel, and those things are perfect for them. So you can do that too. So we click on the check-in. Once we click on the check-in, it should go to the thank you page. But now it didn't go to the thank you page. Let's go fix that. 
So we'll go back, click on the on the booking, click on the submit feed. Oh, now it went back. No, we don't want it to go back. We want it to go to a thank you page. Okay, we created a thank you page before. I think it disappeared. So let's just do let's just do that all over again. So we click on the click on this submit button. Click on this. It goes to a new screen. <clears throat> Goes to a new screen, we say thank you page. We say thank you, click on this and say create screen. So what we want to add, we just want to add the we want to add an image. Put an image on the screen. This image will just say URL. I, I copied something already from the internet from, that I'm gonna use. Copied it from the internet already. No, not this. Okay, so this is the image we're going to use. Just say thank you. Click on this. This is going to be a test that says thank you very much for you very much for booking a hotel. Hotel. And let's increase it to 30. That's fine. Put it in the middle. And that's all right. Then add a button. Add, add a button that says go back. Add the button that says go back. So this is going to link to the home screen. So I think that's fine. That's all we want to do. I thought booking it links back to the home screen. So this is one part of the application. If we go back to the dock, we go back to the dock, we can see that hotel um, creating, you know, we can see that these are the pages we've created so far. But we've not created a way for users to add a wish list. But I think that's that's um, something that's so easy. You can go go to my channel and see the way to how to create a like and add like and follow features in your application. So we're just going to create the part where we have the where we have the the hotel. So the dashboard for the hotel. So everything works well. Everything works well. I'm going to drop a link to I'm going to drop a link to this application so you can you know use it yourself. So here we let's go back to our sign up fee, our sign up screen. If we go back to our database where we have the sign up, click here. We need to add something called row. We need to add something called row. Yeah, we need to add a feed called a row. So we we'll say we need to add a feed. So add the property and just say um, row. Say row. So this is going to be a boolean for us because we, want to, we just want to have two users. A hotel, we want to have two users, a hotel and a user. But you also, as a as the owner of the application, you can have, you can you, you yourself can be a user. So we can have the admin, you can have the hotel. So it really depends on what you want. It really depends on what you want. So we're just going to say, okay, let's just make it a test. Let's make it a test and we're going to say a row. But normally if you, if you don't have too many rows, you can use true or false and that solves the problem. So we'll go here like this. We'll come here like this and say, add a field to it. So we would say add a visible field. Add a, add a visible field and we'll just choose user type. This will be a user type. but Let's solve one thing again. Let's go back to our database. Click on Add Collection. We would say User Row. Let's go back to our database again. Click on Add Collection and say User Row. Say User Row. Add name of the row. So let's just add a couple of rows. So we would say Admin. <clears throat> add another row and call this Hotel Owner. And we we'll just call this we we'll just call this user. So for the user, we'll go back to our user. Let's take away the row. Take away this row so that we can use a category for this and make it automatic. And we'll go back to say a relationship with user row. We'll say a user row can have multiple users. A user belongs to one user row. That's it. So if I'm a hotel, I cannot be a guest. If I'm a guest, I can be a hotel. So we'll come back to our sign up feed here. Come back to our sign up fee here. We'll add a feed. 
add a visible field and call the user row. Select user type. So select user type. Select user type and you can have select user type and then you can just select. That's it. Choose a user row. You can call this whatever you want to call it. It's fine. And uh, one thing that this also does for you is that you can create a separate app for this person. So you can create a separate app for this person. You can have the hotel side of the application. You can have a guest side of the application if you want to. It really doesn't matter. But this, we're doing it on two sides. So we're going to create another. We're going to go to the submit button. We would say a link to home. This is the home that displays all the property. If the user, we're going to make it sometimes. When does this happen? Sometimes. See here, we're putting a condition up. If, if logged in user. Now, if the logged in user's role is equal to, if the logged in user's role is, is user. It will link to this to this screen, the home screen. You have to make sure that it's very correct. So we'll go back here and look for. We'll go back here and see the spelling of the rows. So we have user, we have hotel owner. The user is capital U, hotel owner. So let's just make it hotel instead. Let's just make it hotel instead. Then the admin, yeah. So everything is first thing first is capital letter. So we'll go back here, submit button. <clears throat> if this guy is a user, so the user is capital U, then you link to this other screen. <clears throat> then we'll add another action, link to a new screen, <clears throat> hotel dashboard, hotel dashboard. So we'll say create. This will be sometimes if the logged in user row is a hotel. So if the logged in user row is a hotel, it will link to this other screen that says hotel dashboard. That's the way you want to do it. And on this hotel dashboard, you just you don't want to create something too fancy. You just want to create something so straightforward. You want to tell you want to show people the booking they have. You want to tell people um what do you want to do today? So this is not so granular, but you can add some styling to this if you want to. You can add some styling to, styling to this if you want. So what a hotel would likely want to do, they want to create a room, they want to create a hotel, they want to, they want to create a room, they want to create a hotel, they want to see booking, that's what they really want to do. So we can just create a button. Can I just, we can create lots of button one. So we can call this, Outline button, we can say create a hotel, a new hotel. So you can extend this as long as you want, but for the sake of time, we're just going to make it, we're just going to fix it like this. So I'll duplicate, I'll duplicate this, create a new. Create a new room. Then duplicate this. Duplicate this and say, uh, C, C correct booking. Yeah. So you're going to see booking. So when a hotel is booked, you say it, create a new room, new hotel. This will link to another screen. This will link to a pop-up or another screen, but it's fine. I'm just going to link this to another screen for the sake of time. So we'd say go to a new screen. So we just call this create hotel screen. So this is going to be a form. Say like so. It's going to be a form. I will take this here. So this is going to be a list of what? A list of hotel. It's going to be a list of hotel. And the feed, we have the name, we have description, we have hotel image, we have hotel count, <clears throat> room count. Don't worry, you don't want that. 
visible feed you don't want that rooms you don't want that hotel location is there hotel location yeah you want to pick this then automatic feed automatic feed nothing is here so what we want to do also we want to go back to our hotel database and add a creator to it so we'll go back to our database for so click on our hotels you can't really find a creator here even though our download automatically adds a creator to it but we'll do this we we'll say relationship with a user so a user can have multiple hotel a hotel will belong to one user so this is what you want to do so that's it just say owner so this is going to be the hotel owner so that means your your your, your platform enable users to have lots of hotel but you can do this you know you can make this you can make this the way you want to that a person can only include one hotel so we'll do this add automatic feed the owner will be logged in user that will be the owner of the of the hotel so that's fine so this is pretty straightforward create hotel so the submit button would be create a hotel and go back exit so now let's go back to the next one that says add a new room so the add a new room to the current hotel so here you can say create hotel and take it back take the person back to the new room that the person has created that's fine <clears throat> so for add a new room this will likely not work like this because this will likely not work like this because you only add a room to a hotel you add a room to a hotel it might be a difficult way for you to create this but let's go ahead and see click on the plus sign now click on this go to add link new screen add a room so normally a good way to do this would be to display the hotel owned by this user and when the user click on that hotel <clears throat> the user is given the option to add a new room <clears throat> so I'm picking this down so I'm picking this down here add a new room so we're going to we're going to we're going to click a form this is going to be a form this is going to be a form that says room create a new room and we have feeds here we have visible feed the hotel so it's going to select the hotel and we want to filter this so filter this to be we're going to say yeah hotel owner where the owner owner's email where the owner email is equal to log the user's email so we'll say done so it will only show hotel where the owner's email is equal to the log the user's email so it's just going to create so it's going to just create a room and they can tell if the hotel is booked or not this is super straightforward right so the next thing we want to do next we want to see current booking so we want to see, display all the bookings that belongs to this particular user that's what we want to do so click on this click on the plus sign add screen and add screen and just look for a list look for a list and would say bookings hotel bookings so we say create screen so this is going to be a list of booking by this for this user so it's going to be booking booking yeah all bookings logged in users booking not logged in users booking sorry this is not a logged in users booking because another user can also book no we don't want this we don't want this to happen so we say all bookings custom feature via the hotel via the hotel owner via the hotel owner's email is equal to log the user's email that's it so we are, we are we're keeping all the room booking where the hotel hotel owner's email is equal to the current log the user don't forget that's what you want to do then also you want to sort by date you want to sort by date the booking was created date the booking created date newest orders that's how you want to sort it and that's all so here we will click on we will click on the booking name now really the booking doesn't have a name the booking doesn't have a name does it so we'll click on the plus sign okay uh name of the booking not really 
Uh, we'll go see if a booking has a name. So subtitle, take it away. This will be the, let's just say the note. Yeah, let's say this is a note. And for the left section, for the avatar, we would just say the current owner, the current hotel, the current room, the current hotel image. So that's fine, the current hotel image. Then that's what we want to do there. Then when a the user click on this, we want to take them to a pop-up to a place where they would see the person who booked it, the details of the person who booked it. So I'll click on this. When they click on this, we want to take them to book room booking details. Details. So we just click an empty screen. That's all we want to do. Room booking details. So for we just just add a lot of test here. So this is going to be current booking, current booking um, username, the name of the first day, the email of the person who booked it. All right, this is just in no particular order. This is the email of the person who booked it. This is the current booking phone number, the phone number of the person who booked it. So this is the current booking location, the location of the person who booked it. So this is the current booking, okay. the current booking date of checkout. So this is the current booking. So we'll click this current booking date of checking. Then duplicate, let's say current booking note yeah that's it so let's see what we have next we have the current booking on our room so I think I think we're good let's see if this is going to be the name I think probably is going to be the name of the person who booked the call so all this all this, you're going to have headings. So you're going to have email heading, phone number heading, location heading. So I think those are things that you can do yourself. And um, those are things you can do yourself. And so that's what you want to do. For this plus sign, we don't want this plus sign here. And here we can, we can put a button that will tell, that will tell the, we can put a button here to delete booking, manage booking, edit, create, delete. Now those are things that are, that you can do only normal that you can do if you can do that just go ahead and watch my other tutorials and you'll be able to do something uh, like so so here let's go ahead and try let's go ahead and preview our application so uh, I think we also have, need to have one feature for the, the ability for users to log out um, it's not here, so we can't really log out of this application right now because it's just going to be like so. Let's just add something. So I'll go to, I'll go here, my profile. I think that should be the third tab. Okay, I think that's the fourth now. Just link it. So just link it to a new screen. Just call it profile. So we're not building this profile. We're just adding ability for users to log out of the platform. That's how we're doing, um, so we can log out ourselves. So what we're building, we're building the call features, and I'm sure that you can do the other ones yourself. So just call this log out. We have to log out so we can log in as a hotel owner. So that should be that's that's working now. So click on the profile, it should work, and click on logout. Uh oh, okay, we didn't configure that very well. So add action, um, user login, logout. So user login, logout, that's fine. So click on the preview button again. Click on the profile button, click on log out. Wow, this should work. Okay, let's see. Click again. 
log out always. So after logging out, it should go to the sign up screen. So this should work. So I think that's that's working now. So let's sign up with another email. Say Paul at gmail.com password is Paul. Full name is Paul. Select your city, Lagos. Yeah, like so, phone number. Choose a user type. So I'm gonna say a user. You don't you do not need to add the admin there. Uh, please, you do not need to add the admin there. So I'll click on sign up. So this should take me to, wow. This is so wrong. So let's go, let's go try this again. I think we have a box somewhere. Click on the sign up screen. Submit button. When sign up is a user, When the sign up is a user, when the login user role equals the user, it should go to the home screen. When the when the sign up user role equal to hotel, it should go to the hotel dashboard screen. So let's do a login here. When so when the so login and then let's should put advanced here again. Sometimes when the login user role is equal to user, you should go to the home screen and add another link to hotel dashboard. Sometimes when the login user row is equal to hotel then it should go to that screen let's go try this again let's try this again so click click on profile log out so let's say call three at gmail.com Password is Paul, full name is Paul. Select your city, Lagos. Put a phone number, select my user role, hotel. Say sign up. I think Adelo has a bug, but this is supposed to work perfectly well. I'm, su I'm surprised it's not working very well like I want to. So I'm going to, so let's figure out why it's not working. Let's go back to our login page. Feeds, sign up button, link to the hotel dashboard. Because what we're trying to do, we want to assess the dashboard if we are a different type of user. So we have logged in when user role is equal to hotel. Let's try it this way. When user role is not equal to the user, when user role is not equal to the user, we want to come here. Then when user role is equal to the user, we want to come to the home, home screen. So let's do a let's do a refresh. So let's preview the application. Okay, here we'll just sign out as the first user and log in as the other user. So we have Paul Fall at gmail.com. Paul Fall at gmail.com, and here we have Paul. And click on the login button. Hallelujah. So now we have create new hotel, create a new room, see current booking. So current booking, yeah, it's not going anywhere. Creating a new hotel, this should create a hotel for us perfectly. So we have um, 
name of the hotel, let's say Hotel Royal. Hotel Royal description. This is a description. That's fine. Hotel image. We're going to impute an image of our choice. So I'm going to use this hotel location. I'm going to say Manchester and create a hotel. The hotel has been created. Let's go back to our mobile application, look at our database and see if we've created a new hotel. Uh, yeah, so we have hotel real description and we have rooms. The owner is this person. And yeah, that's all we have to do. Then let's go ahead and create a room, create a new room, um, hotel, royal, room, description, this is a test room, price, let's say 500, choose a room photo, I'm just going to choose this as a room photo booked no then I'm gonna select the hotel so this has to be a hotel that I own it has to be a hotel that I own that this particular user owns and the user the hotel is hotel royal so we'll click on it to select it just wait for the image to upload once it does, you can use you can use the hotel. You can create a room right here. Security room. Uh, this field is not supposed to be required, so but let's just do it for the sake of this. Create a room. So what we can do to, to stop that feed from always appearing required is that we'll go here, add a room, create a feed, and say booked. So it's not always required. Yeah, that's what we have to do. And if we go back to this page, you see that we can go back after filling the page. So we we'll put an icon on top of it. Put an icon somewhere here. Take this below a bit. Put an icon somewhere. Put a put an arrow. An arrow somewhere at the back. And just tell it to go back, lean backwards. And this guy come to the submit button and say after creating it, we want to go back after creating it. Same thing with this with this guy it would say after creating it, what we want to do, we want to go back. So that's fine. I think we're almost we are almost running up here. Yeah, we're almost running up here. So the next thing we want to do is to see current bookings. Here you have to take them to the screen where they will see all the current booking for the hotel of this user. Yeah, that's what you want to do. So we'll just go to, we'll display another list. Go here and say add a new screen. It will say, see current booking. That's what you want to do. And it's going to be a list. So just look for a list template here. But you can create a, a, a custom template if you want to. You can create a custom list if you want to. So this is a booking. That's a booking. See current booking over there. So let's go look for the screen. Remember, we're creating a two-sided application. If you're just creating a one creating a one-sided application, I think you're done. Because uh the later part of this tutorial is gonna help you do that. But if you're creating a two-sided application, then you you should follow through. So we're gonna say your current booking. Yeah, that's fine. That's what you want to say here. Then right here, this is, you want to make this a list of bookings, all booking, no, yeah, not booking owner, yeah, the, yeah, the hotel. So where the hotel name, where the name of the hotel, or the hotel owner, the hotel owner's email, yeah, the hotel owner's email. Is equal to 
the current login user's email. Yeah. That's what you want to do. The current the, the hotel owner's email is equal to the current login user's email. Because you want a user to see bookings that's for that particular user. So let's go to a database and see. So if you click on it, you can see our hotel has a name, duration, owner, hotel, and rooms. Yeah. It has rooms, it has price, it has notes, check in date, check out date, you know, it has all this stuff. But there's one thing that we do not have. Uh, we have to know if the booking has been accepted or not. So let's just add a property and say accepted, accepted, and say save. So this way, you'll be able to tell the user to accept the booking or not. So if this person accepts this booking, you can send an email to the person who booked and say, hey, thank you, your booking has been accepted, there's a space for you. Mm, that's fine. But if that's not the way you want to run your business, then you don't need to accept the booking. You just need to see a list of booking right here. It really depends on how you want to run it, but mm, it's not really necessary all the way. So this is a list of booking. So this is going to be our booking title, current booking name, and this is going to be our current booking duration. Uh, let's say the current booking date checking or phone number. That's fine. And this button, we're going to say accept. So when we're doing it like this, it's seeming like it's an Uber kind of thing, but it's not. Accept. So when you click on accept, what's going to happen? We're going to update current booking. Update current booking and make, the, and make it true. That's fine. Then when they say decline over here, but this is not necessary. So I'm just doing it, but it's not necessary. So you scroll down and say accepted, turn it to false. And here you're only displaying, you're going to display booking that is true or that is accepted. That is, that is true. Any booking that is false that has been declined, you're not going to display, display here. So we say when login booking is equal to login user and and accepted is equal to true. So you're not going to display any of the booking here, any booking that is false here. So once it's false, you take it away. Once it's false, you just take it away. That's what you want to do here. So I think we're done with this application. The only thing you want to do next is for the user to be able to um, see their list of created hotels, see their list of created rooms, edit, you know, just edit their rooms. Yeah, that's what you want to do. Like, ask them to edit their rooms, um, edit created hotel, edit created rooms. Yeah, that's what you want to do. Nothing else. So those are just crude functions. So I think it's something that you'll be able to handle yourself. Um, let's go back to our application and see if we have our hotels over there. So um, this is our application right there. So let's go back. This is our application. So we have the Hotel Royal. This is it. You can see the Hotel Royal is in our application already because the user created it. And now we'll go back and this is a click on the room to book it. The room for hotel area is not showing yet. Why is it not showing? I do not know. So let's go back to our rooms. This is our room. Hotel area room is a share with hotel area. And the room booked. Oh, it's not going to show because it's booked, so it's not going to show. Let's just unbook it. Yeah, we did. Remember, we did this so the form would fill, would fill itself. So let's just unbook it and try again. So click on the hotel royal. So yeah, it's booking. The room is showing. This is the only room available. So we book a room. Uh, the room is five hundred dollars. Yeah, this some um, user experience error. So this is supposed to you're supposed to change this, but it's fine. Uh, we'll just do this some other time. So this is a note. Let's just create a booking. Create a booking and thank you very much. So remember, you can also add payments to this. You can add a Stripe payment to this and say when a user click on create a booking, they, the app go ahead and debit their credit card and, you know, on and on like, like so. 
So let's just create a profile. Let's go ahead and log out and log in as the owner of your room, as the owner of your hotel. Log in as the owner of your hotel. And say login. See current booking. Whoa, it's not working here. So it's not working here. Let's go here. See current booking. It takes us here. Think that's how you that's how you just debug your dialog application. So you want to you want to see if what you did is working or not. So this is showing all the booking. We are the current hotel owner. No, we're the current hotel. The owner. The current hotel owner owner email is equal to the login screen. Okay, let's leave it this way. Is equal to the login screen, logged in user's email. Let's go try this again. So uh, this is also a bug in a dialog that when you use a true or false, it always comes back to the first true, uh, which is not good. So we always have to log in again whenever we want to try this. Um, so let's go ahead and just try this again. Say so login. See current booking. I hope this works. Yeah, this works. So it's saying five hours ago, accepted all the client. Ah, uh, yeah, accepted all the clients. So this is like the holy grail. I don't want to touch it. But we're supposed to see the name of the booking here, but we're not seeing it. Uh, I think that's something that you can fix on your on your end because if we go back to our booking if we go back here and click on the booking if we go back here and click on on our booking database uh, we can tell if we have so we don't have a name we don't have a duration we just have a hotel note and that's all so we you sh should be able to fix all those and one other thing that you can also do is that when a person click here a person can click here to find find out more when they click to find out more, they see all the, they see the details of the person who has booked, you know, all the details of the person who has booked, and they are able to contact the person via email, via phone call, and the rest. So this is the way I would build a, a hotel management application, uh, some sort of a hotel directory for myself. And one thing, one thing about this hotel directory is that you can make it very popular for a particular niche. Maybe shortlets, maybe rooms, hotels. It works a lot of time, and people usually download it a lot. And you can make money via paid advertisement. You can make money via paid listing, uh, partnership with hotels, a whole lot. You can make a whole lot of money through different means. Yeah, it's a pretty long tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, you can always subscribe to this channel if you're just watching it for the very first time so you can so you can get new videos whenever I create them. And also, if you, if you need help with your download application, feel free to send me a DM via email below or on Twitter and I'll do well to reach out to you. Thank you so much.